you have the vision. You are sure that if other people could see your vision, they would be amazed. But here's the issue. They aren't going to see your vision unless you do the work. Unless you type those words, write that code, unless you do the work, the world will never see your vision. And the only way to bring it to life is to work. The world's going to keep moving. The clock is going to keep ticking. Everything that starts has an end. It's just life. If I looked at my clock, if you looked at your phone, time never stops for no one. Just keep pushing forward. With enough action, any goal can be achieved. Take the shot, swing the bat, throw the stick. I mean, just go for it over and over and over again until you're so emotionless on failure or rejection. All these failures weren't failures. They were just attempts that showed me the right way to do so. You forego immediate pleasure for the exchange of long-term self-respect. If you want to be happy, you have to discipline your behavior. The road to sustained happiness is through disciplining your behavior. Play the long game. Aim for legendary. Say, I want to have the guts and the grit and the acumen and the mindset and the capability and the commitment to create enduring success. Be the person who is up reading, listening to the podcast, writing in your journal, setting your goals, focusing on your intentions. As you become more successful, become more humble. As you become more successful, work even harder. As you become more successful, care even more about your product. As you become more successful, learn even more. Don't try. Do. Forget about trying. Forget about making an attempt. Forget about testing it out. Although you may not end up in the profession or in the area that you're starting out, you don't want to go halfway. You don't want to just dig your toe in. You want to jump in hard. Do not try. Do. Go hard. It requires a tremendous amount of courage to say, I'm going to give this thing a chance. I'm going to give it my all. And if it doesn't work out, that's okay. But I know that I tried my best. Legends don't settle for being a limp. They strive to be complete domination. Legendary. If you really, truly dominate, people are going to see it. They're going to be drawn to you. They will remember your fucking name because by dominating your life, you will make a profound impact on all of the lives around you. Just winning is not enough. But dominating people who are winning, that's something that will leave you a fucking legacy. Every man in this room, you met, you blew your twenties. You spend all your thirties trying to make, make up, up for your twenties. Yeah, that's a, that's the truth, dog. Uh. Every dude in this room blew their twenties mm -hmm. and at thirty trying to fix what they should have did in their twenties. Yeah, and so so forth and so on. You turn forty, you trying to recover from the mistakes you made when you thirty. Mm -hmm. Now at forty, man, it's time for you start. Mm -hmm. Really, at 30, you need to start buckling it on down. Mm -hmm. And just realize, man, everybody make mistakes. And if the mistakes you're going through are going to help you become the person you need to be later on. So when you're young and you're making mistakes, don't let them eat you up. Because mm -hmm. everybody that done made it, done made them. Yeah. You got to fail in order to win. Hey, look, man, to understand how to hit the game when it's shot, you got to miss the game when it's shot. Sometimes being young and trying things, you're so naive and you don't know any better, all you do is learn. And if you fail, it doesn't matter. And so whether I was 9, 10, 12, 16, 21, 
the failures were irrelevant. And you know, whether you're you know, 9, 12, 16, 21, 22, 24, you know, I'm sleeping on the couch. You know, I have a car with a hole in the floorboard. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm living like a bum and, and like a student. And so what did I have to lose? And so I think that influenced me as much as anything. So, it was, you know, my dad was like, go for it. You know, don't, why not? What have you got to lose? You know, you have to sleep on a different couch. So I think that that was motivation. One of the greatest pieces of advice that my mother gave me was this, son, whenever you start, you make sure you finish. And the problem with the world today, people get involved with things, and if they don't like a certain person, if they don't like the process, if it's not what they thought it was, they quit. And what they don't understand about quitting, quitting becomes a habit that doesn't just affect you. Later on in life, when you get a wife and you get some kids or you get a family, it's going to come back to hunt you, and it will one day affect them. That is why I tell you the process is more important than the product. It's not even about the outcome for me. It's about can you take pride in what you do as an individual and every night when you look in the mirror knowing that you gave everything you had to it. And we have to get to the point where we're willing to impose our will on certain things. Impose your will on it. My life totally changed. And they gave me an opportunity to stop. And most people, when you give them an opportunity to stop while they're chasing something, they take advantage of it because they feel as if, man, why did this have to happen to me? I felt as if, why not me? This is the perfect opportunity to use this to be a blessing to somebody else. And you know what? It's not even about me to be truthful. It's not even about me. Now it's about repaying the people that invested in me and saw something in me when I couldn't see it in myself. At a certain point in life, it can't just be about you. And the moment that we understand that and every day we wake up, we understand that life is a blessing and life is a gift. And if you were to check out today, how would you want to be remembered? It's bigger than you. The body is very important, but the mind is more important than the body. We have to visualize what that body ought to look like in order to make it win, because that's what creates then the will. The will that you need to go to the gym every day. The will that makes you go into the four straps, the will that makes you go beyond when you do your 500 pound reps in the squats and you can't do another rep and your body is shaking. It's the will that makes you go one more time down and struggle up one more time. And so it's all of this, so the mental aspect that motivates you and that makes the difference between you being in the gym full of joy and looking forward to doing that extra rep and looking forward to doing those extra hundred reps in the sit-ups and working past the pain barriers, that all is the mind, it's not the body. So this is why I think the body is very important, but the mind is more important than the body. Attitude has been called the most important word in any language in the world, because it's our attitude toward our world, toward all the people in it, that will determine the world's attitude and all the people's attitude toward us. It's a simple thing, most of us know it, but we tend to forget it. People will react to us according to our attitude. And our attitude is the greatest gift we can be given. You know, the little creatures of the world were given a wonderful gift by Mother Nature called protective coloring, in which they can blend into their background without uh, being seen. But man was not given this great gift because man was given an incalculably greater one. Only man has the godlike power to make his surroundings change to fit him. Because his environment will change as he changes. A man's environment is a merciless mirror of him as a human being. And if he thinks his environment can stand a little improvement, all he has to do is improve and his environment will improve to reflect the changing man. We have to deal with things that we're capable of understanding. And then, once we're over that filter, we have to have a business with some intrinsic characteristics that give it a durable competitive advantage. And then, of course, we would vastly prefer a management in place with a lot of integrity and talent. And finally, no matter how wonderful it is, it's not worth an infinite price. So we have to have a price that makes sense and gives a margin of safety considering the natural vicissitudes of life. It's a very simple set of ideas. And the reason that our ideas have not spread faster is they're too simple. The professional classes can't justify their existence if that's all they have to say. <laughs>